In this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that allows us to combine two columns together into a single column in our query results. So you can see here I have a data set of employee records and the first column is the first name, second column is the last name. And what we want to do is in our query output combine these two columns together so that it's one single column with first name space and then last name. So we'll begin with our query statement and the key is doing this in our first argument here. So we're going to begin with a set of curly brackets because curly brackets allow you to put ranges together in a particular way even if they aren't necessarily right next to one another. So we need to begin with an array formula because we're going to concatenate columns A and B together and when you concatenate things together it's not an array output. We have to convert it to an array output because the query function is an array output and that is why. Otherwise you would get an error message. So first thing we want to do is select column A and then we want to use the AND symbol to join this to a space. So that's a space enclosed in double quotes. And then we want to use another AND symbol to concatenate that to the last name column. So then we can add a comma and then grab the rest of our data set, columns C and D and don't forget to add a closing curly bracket. So now we're done with our first input and now we move to our select statement. So that just begins with keyword select and for now I want to select everything. So we're just going to say select star to select all the columns. And then the final input is the number of row headers we have which is one. So I'll hit enter and you can see we get these two columns now joined together in one single output with the first name space and last name. So now if we wanted to add a where condition we can no longer refer to the column letters. You have to refer to the column numbers because you have to remember we created our own kind of virtual array here and what was previously columns one and two is now column one. What was previously column three over here is now column two. What was column four is now column three. So if we want to add a where condition for everyone in the IT department, we can say where column two is equal to IT. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.